okay, let me go through everything, right? So basically the first thing of this uh, table is the date. Date means the date when I posted this uh, signal, this trade, this potential trade, or when I modified it for the last time. Because for some of them, when, for example, first target is uh, hit, I will modify them, right? Uh, I will change the screenshot so you can see what happens and so on and so on, right? And so this is the date. Then we have the pair. So the pair that we are using to take this trade, right? In this case, this first one is Great Britain Pound, New Zealand Dollar. Then we have time frame. Time frame, in this case, it's H4, four hour. This means four hour uh, time frame, right? And of course, Where the time frame will you... vary. That could go well, anything it will from... vary because... Weekly. Yeah, for sure. So I will be posting trades from five minutes up to monthly, right? Because I'm taking all of them anyway, right? Just the, it's hard to post something for one minute simply because it happens really fast over there, right? And while I have to post it, it will be over. You know, I will be collecting my profit. So it's a bit tricky. That's why from five minutes up to monthly. Then we have direction which means uh, sell or buy trade. So in this case, the first one is sell. You see, it will be covered red and sell. Then we have entry, entry price. So exact entry price that you should uh, place your entry on. Then we have stop loss where you should uh, set your stop loss. Exactly, right? No thinking, uh, should I uh, put it over here or over there? No. It's fixed, so don't worry. Yeah, it's really easy. Then we have TP1 means take profit one, right? Just a second to move this over here. Uh, then we have, so this will be the price for the first take profit target, the possible one, right? Then we have TP2, which means the second take profit target. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a bit more aggressive because we are aiming for bigger profits, but again, it's better to have this, right? Because sometimes market explodes and we collect more profits. So. And then we have this chart over here. So what is this? It will show you the actual chart of the trade. So you see, you have stop loss, take profit one, take profit two. In this case, for this trade, it's like this because uh, mm -hmm. the first take profit target was being hit. So I closed half of the position over here and move at the stop loss to break even for the rest of it. And so now I already have a winner and I can't lose anything. You see, it's really nice and easy. I really like such trades. That's already. an update of a, a, a trade that you'd already taken in uh, for those yes, who It's a bit because, and moreover, <laughs> over here, we have comments, right? Just below the trade. So in this case, it says, as I said, first target already hit, half of the position closed, and move it so close to break even, you see? So I'm giving like uh, hints that, you know, what happened really and what I have done <clears throat> and what you could do as well, right? So it's really of course, um, of course uh, most of the signals that come through here are new signals that they can get into before the entry mm -hmm. point is hit. So for yes. example, you yes. give them, um, and uh, maybe one of those other charts which shows that, um, I will give you an example now with this trade and I will go through <laughs> how you can actually apply all this information and use it, right? So, so let's take this entry, for example. It's USD Japanese Yen daily time frame. It's sell. Let's see the chart, what it says. So as you can see, it's not... Um, I haven't entered this trade yet, right? Because it will be with a pending order because we need the price to go to a predetermined uh, entry point, entry level, and then we uh, will open our uh, sell, right? So you yeah. see, we have stop loss over here. Entry level is over here. So we want price to go through this entry level and then we will go short. We have take profit one, sorry, take profit two, so everything is, everything is, you know, really easy to read, right? Yeah. So now let's see actually how, how we can apply and use this information to make an entry, right? Yeah. So in order to do this, we should go to our uh, MT4 platform. 
by the way, this is my uh, Fortunatus FX trading system. That's how it works. But for this, a bit later. So let me uh, apply empty one. So and you can do this on any chart. You can just have a blank chart and you can actually. Yeah. So you see, this is USD Japanese yen daily chart, right? Where we will uh, make uh, our pending orders and so on. So let's see what information we have. So it's a sell at this point, right? Mm -hmm. At 10.58. Let's copy this, go there. Just so you have two options to open or place a pending order, you can use this button, new order, or you can use right click somewhere, right? Sell limit. And now we will modify it as per our needs, as per the information from uh, Trade Command Center. So price should be, we will just paste it, right? 110.58. Then let's check, um, uh, so stop loss, 111.25, right? Stop loss. Copy again. It's really easy. Now it works. Okay, so I'm usually setting the second take profit target just in case if the market explodes, right? And so I could collect more profits, obviously. But you can put your First take profit target like this with line. So just let's go there and see. It was uh, copy, right? And then we will paste it over here. And voila. So now we have pending order sell over here. Stop was set on the proper place. Take profit target one, take profit target two. And as soon as we have what I'm usually doing, as soon as we have price reaching the take profit target one, I'm usually uh, closing half of my position, moving stop loss to break even and leaving the rest 